What's up guys? Welcome to the fifth lecture of the DIP series. This is Anushree and today we're going to talk about distance measures between pixels. So if we have two points P and Q with coordinates x, y and s, t then there are different distances which can be calculated. Okay, so the first one is Euclidean distance which is measured with the following formula which is root of x minus s the whole square plus y minus t the whole square. The next type of distance is city block distance. The formula for which is d4 of p comma q is equal to absolute value of x comma s plus absolute value of y comma t. Now we can understand this with the help of an example. Suppose we have a point x comma y here which is the center point and if we have to measure the distances to each of these points then we can measure it as follows. Let's suppose we take this point and this point then the measurement is one unit. Similarly to each of these points the measurement is one unit. But if we have to travel to this point then it would have to go like this. It cannot travel uh, diagonally. So this is similar to the four adjacency which we had learned before the four adjacency or four way connectivity and that is why here it is written as d4 so if we have to consider if you have to travel to this point then it would have to go one two so that's why two was written here similarly if we have to travel to this point that would be three this point then one two three this point one two three so similarly, the entire matrix can be formed. The next type of distance is chessboard distance. The formula for which is d8 of p comma q is equal to max of modulus of x minus s comma modulus of y minus t. Now this particular distance is similar to the 8 adjacency or 8 way connectivity which we had learned before. Which means that while calculating the distance we can traverse horizontally, vertically, as well as diagonally. So that's why if we try to understand this with the help of this example here, if this is x comma y, then to, then to traverse to this point, it can traverse like this. To traverse to this point, it can go directly. It can go diagonally. It, did, it does not have to go through this part like that. If it has to traverse to this two, then it can traverse one, two. To travel to this two, it can traverse one, two. Okay, so in this case, it can also go diagonally. It does not have to go through the four-way connectivity or four-way path. The next type of distance is DM distance. It is defined as the shortest M path between the points. Okay, so when we calculate this distance, the value depends on the values of the pixels along the path as well as the values of their neighbors. So suppose if we have two points p of x comma y and q of s comma t. Okay, these two are the points and these are the coordinates of these points. Then it does not depend only on these two values or these two values. It depends on the entire path and the values of the neighbors of this path. We'll try to understand this with the help of the question. Now before we move ahead with the question, there's one important point to be noted. And that is that when we calculate D4 and D8 distances, then these two distances are independent of any paths that might exist between the points. Okay, so these distances only depend on the coordinates of the points. Suppose if we are calculating this distances between P and Q, then these distances would only depend on the coordinates of P and Q. Okay, they would be independent of the path. Now let's try to solve this question. An image segment is shown below. Let V be the set of gray level values used to define connectivity in the image. Compute D4, D8 and Dm distances between pixels P and Q. 
for v equal to 2,3 and v equal to 2,6. Now, as per the important note which we had made before, we know that d4 and d8 do not depend on the path. So we can directly calculate those distances with the help of the formula. So now coordinates. P, x comma y are let's take p as 0 comma 0 okay so in that way q would be 0 1 2 3 4 0 1 2 3 4 so this would be 4 comma 4 so the coordinates of p are 0 comma 0 coordinates of Q R four comma four. Now for calculating D four, the formula is D four of P comma Q is equal to X comma S the whole modulus plus Y comma T the whole modulus, which is 0 minus 4 plus 0 minus 4 4 plus 4 or 8 units now calculating d8 d8 of p comma q is equal to max of x comma s y comma sorry y minus t which is max of 0 minus 4 the whole modulus comma 0 minus 4 the whole modulus max of 4 comma 4 which is 4 Now for calculating the dm distance, okay, we know that dm depends on the path, okay, so that's why we'll consider this, these sets here. Let's take the first case, v equal to 2 comma 3. So now we have to calculate the path between p which is 2 and q which is 6, but 6 is not included this in the set, so that's why it cannot be considered. So there is no path between 2 and 6 because for making the connection we have to use only 2 and 3. So even if we try to connect suppose 2 to 3 and then it can come like that, like that. So even if we try to connect it will come this till this 2 but then after that it won't be able to reach 6 because 6 is not included in this set so that's why we write that there is no path between p and q as q which is 6 is not included in the set V. Okay, now if we consider the second case, V equal to 2 comma 6. Now in this case, we can traverse only with the values 2 and 6. So let's try traversing. Suppose from 2 to 6 it can come and then like this. Okay, I'll just make it a little darker line so that we're able to differentiate and then from here it can come to this to here it can traverse diagonally and now one important point to remember here is when we calculate dm distance it is uh, it is basically the shortest m path right which means mixed adjacency path and by that rule it says that if there exists a four adjacency or four-way connection 
and an eight-way connection then you can only traverse using the four-way connection okay so accordingly we'll traverse now when we come here then after that we can try traveling to this six here because there's no other way from here so we'll, so we'll try traveling to this six and then it will come to this two here but we have to traverse to this six so there's no way because even if we traverse to this two here then this two is surrounded by five three five and three so the, there's no other way to reach this six from this two so that is why we write there is no path between p and q okay so this is the final answer d4 is 8 units d8 is 4 units and for this there is for dm there is no path in both the cases get one more example here consider the following image segment compute dm d4 and d8 distances between pixels p and q for v equal to 0 comma 1 where v is the set of gray level values used to define connectivity repeat for v equal to 1 comma 2 so this is the image let's take this as our origin p value as our origin we'll take this as 0 0 then q will be 0 1 2 3 so this will be 3 comma 3 0 1 2 3 okay so coordinates of p x comma y is equal to 0 comma 0 and coordinates of q s comma t is equal to 3 comma 3 now let's calculate the d4 and d8 distances first now as we know already d4 and d8 do not depend on the path so we can directly calculate these with the help of the formula d4 of p comma q is equal to x minus s the whole modulus plus y minus t the whole modulus which is equal to 0 minus 3 plus 0 minus 3 which is 3 plus 3 or 6 units next we will calculate d8 d8 of p comma q is equal to max of x minus s the whole modulus comma y minus t the whole modulus which is max of 0 minus 3 0 minus 3 or max of 3 comma 3 which is 3 units now for calculating the dm distance it will depend on the path so let's consider the first case which is v is equal to 0 comma 1 now in this case we can traverse only with the help of zeros and ones so let's take this point p now to reach this point q okay it can traverse to this zero now if we have if it has to go to this point dm the rule says that if you have a four way connectivity and eight way connectivity then you can only use the four way connectivity okay so we we cannot uh, directly go to this one here through this diagonal we will have to go through this way okay because this is four way connectivity then it can come here and then here so this is one two three four five so that's why dm is equal to five units now when you're actually writing this in your exam you can draw another figure 
and show the path for each of these cases right now i'm just using this one image here okay next is b is equal to 1 comma 2 which means that you can traverse this path only using ones and twos so let's look at this case now we can traverse from this one to this one i'll draw a thicker line here and then like this again you cannot go directly to this tool you will have to, have to go through the four-way connectivity now this can go to this one here or it can go to this one as per your wish and then it can go like this like this and like this okay so this is one two three four five six okay let's try looking at the other path if we go through this one two and if we go to this two three four five six so that will also be six units this path one two three four five six this will also be six units this path is also six units so therefore dm is equal to six units now when you're calculating dm it is the shortest m distance between p and q so that's why you need to look at all the possible paths okay do not just look at one path and write that as the final answer okay try to traverse through all the different paths possible and then write the answer so that is it for this one d4 is equal to six units d8 is three units dm for this case is five units and dm for this case is six units that's it for this lecture thanks for watching i'll see you in the next one